Welcome, guys. As you can see, Oliver is not here this week. So filling in for him, we've invited a very special guest judge. Tattooing for 20 years, he's the owner of Tommy Montoya's Clockwork Tattoo Club, none other than Mr. Tommy Montoya. What's up, guys? I'm known for black and gray and portraits, but I like to call myself a jack of all trades, and one of my models is you pick it, I'll stick it. So I like to do everything. When I see a bad tattoo, I get very pissed. I'm gonna tear some of these guys a new one. This is the last week a new shop will enter the competition. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked this is the last shop coming in. We just gotta eliminate everybody that's already here. You've reached a milestone, but remember, only one shop will earn two $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. And for the first time ever, the title of Master Shop. Right now, it's time to meet the last returning veterans. They both competed on season five, and one of them also competed on season seven. No, no. Representing Golden Skull Tattoo in Las Vegas, Nevada, Clean Rock One, and Aaron Is. Oh. Oh. I met this joker on season five, and ever since, we've been broskies. We both already know what our strengths and weaknesses are, because we were trying to utilize them against each other last time. He claims to be the portrait king over yeah, here. You do claim yeah. that you're the portrait yeah. guy. I'll put money on it. The precision is not there in that mouth. Those lips are not her lips. Portrait king just got decrowned. Aaron, what's it feel like to be eliminated? Because I've never been there. The veteran about to walk through the door is one of the most versatile artists ever to compete. Clean Rock One. You kind of lose that genuine look of his smile. The shape of the mouth itself, Reagan has a bump on the bottom right side that really comes up, and you do it pretty straight. Clean gets a pass a lot of times. What's up, Christian? Hey, you know what? You guys all got something to say. At least I got the balls to say it. Third time's the charm, clean. I got a score to settle with the old knucklehead. There's not one person I want to compete against more than this guy. Let him know to keep his bags packed, because he's not going to stay very long. Oh, yeah. This week is designed to put your shop to the test. Succeed and you stay, but fail, and your shop will go home just as quickly as you return. This week, we're testing precision. Precision is being very, very accurate with every single line and every single little detail that you put into your piece of art. This whole time, I've been practicing everything that's my weakness. I'm coming in hot on this one. For this flash challenge, you need a steady hand because instead of using tattoo machines to puncture skin, you must use a drill to puncture wood. Oh. Using different size drill bits, your design will be determined by the size of the holes you drill and the distance between them. I have used a power drill to hang up art on the wall, but I have never made art with it. This is just gonna be a nightmare. Win, and your shop will have the power to assign all the human canvases for the elimination tattoo. You have five hours, and your time begins now. Awesome. Okay, let's, let's do it. Today, these artists are gonna drill into a board and use a light behind it to create a pattern. They're doing a Cracking, that's gonna be insane. Precision in this challenge is gonna be everything in order to create holes to create depth and dimension in the piece. So for bright whites, big holes close together for the bright whites. Also, precision will be necessary to keep the piece looking aligned and tight. What the f is that? It's gonna be the candle. I'm drilling now because I need to start drawing my lines. I'm like a dude, dude. I'm not afraid of any power tools. I got an old garage full of the damn things. We decided to cut out huge portions of the board. Nobody else is gonna do it because it's so risky. All the solid whites are gonna come through like Jesus in the clouds, baby. We need to get this first skull pick and let everybody in the house know that we're here and we mean business. Awesome, so far so good. Think about what you're doing before you do it. Everybody's gonna try and do some crazy big piece to show off. And all you gotta do is go simple. We go right back to basics. Geometric shapes. How many painters have painted a still life? This skull pick is vital, man. We got people on our side now, and we're all gunning for that alliance on the other side of the room. It's time to send them home. Here, they need to be squattier and see more of it up here. Oh, no, this would be in front of it. You I'm guys, just, do I'm... what you want. So no conversation at all? I mean, I'm telling you. The handle does not Either literally look like this. You're doing it wrong. That's all I'm telling you. Eulis and I have a very balancing dynamic. Being a dick. No, I'm not. 
But when he is done listening, he is done listening. Can you just like... Can I do play? what? You know what you're doing, obviously, because you won't listen to anything that I say. If we can't smooth this out, there's no reason to even continue, because nothing good comes out of that. I don't know how to continue it now. Then do what you were going to do, and we'll take the hit for it. Two more hours to go, guys. Two more hours. This is all going to go very fast from here. I've actually created a special tool to be able to make perfect circles on our canvas. Those holes are all pretty equal. Oh, it looks really cool. Matt's going to be doing a lot of work today. Does it look like I do woodworking back home? No. I'll see the exact same thing on the bottom. Katie is just sitting around, not drilling holes, not drawing holes, not measuring anything. Now introducing Katie, professional wipey girl. Oh, you didn't finish the wing. Oh, that was, I thought that was like an erase one. Aaron and I are still struggling with some communication issues. I just don't, I just don't want it to look like polka dots, which is what it did look like the first time. Can we just skip flash challenges? I like the second one. I don't know why you got rid of it. All right. It's hard to keep bringing the same fight every week. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. No more drilling. I think the judges are going to love this design. Classic Trilogy did Ooh. some straight up art class boring <laughs> And I don't give a about this pattern that Black Cobra's got? Like, come on, we got this in the bag. All right, guys, it is time to critique your work. And Basilica Tattoo, let's start with you. I do like the cleanliness of the design. Your ladybugs are smaller, more detailed. You use different size of drill bits to create shading. You definitely created depth. I think it's cool. Thank you. Empire State Studio. This could have been a train wreck. I think you guys did a good job. If this thing were to go awry, you would see it in a second. So I think you guys showed off strong precision in this piece. Artistic skin design. It's appealing to the eye when you look at it. As far as precision, some of those tentacles are a little bit crooked. You want to make sure when you're sitting there with that drill, you're hitting every hole. Classic trilogy tattoo. We wanted to make something real simple, but still show precise light directions and shapes. Damn, homie. This it's sick. I like the way you did the little burst up there. We get that idea of a light source. For as simple as it can be, this is where it all starts. These are the shapes. It's a pleasure to look at, and I'm happy for you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. They like it, finally. I think a lot of people have written us off, but we're not out of this game yet. Black Cobra tattoos. You've created quite an optical illusion. It actually does play with your eyes, which is pretty incredible, considering it's a piece of wood with a drill. You show ultimate precision. Great job. We didn't come here to mess around. Yeah, we're in it to win it. They did circles. Good job, guys. Unkindness art. I like the top half of this a lot more than the lower half. The head, the shoulders is so precise. But then as you go down, it's kind of like wah, wah, wah. Allegory arts. Your design is pretty loose. Your chain gets a little out of shape. And in the spider web as well. There's some discrepancies. I just don't know if it's going to compete with the rest of the field. Old Town Inc. I'm not blown away by the design. I wish it was a little more interesting, but the bottom circle that everything's radiating from is a very nice touch. You guys really show a lot of precision in that area. Golden Skull Tattoo. There's definitely contrast in it. There's some things in there that could have been a little more precise, but you attempted a difficult piece. Pretty cool. I didn't come back to pussyfoot around everything. I'm going to go ball through the wall on every single flash challenge I got. 